The Battle of Castillon, July 17, 1453, was the final decisive engagement of the Hundred Years' War between England and France. This conflict, which had lasted for over a century, finally concluded with this battle. Castillon is located in the Aquitaine region of southwestern France, near the Dordogne River. By the mid-15th century, the fortunes of the English had waned significantly. King Henry VI of England was a weak and ineffective ruler, plagued by bouts of mental illness, and his kingdom was embroiled in domestic unrest. Conversely, France, under the capable leadership of King Charles VII, had reorganized its armies and finances, strengthened its central authority, and made significant military advancements. This period saw the rise of gunpowder weapons and the increasing effectiveness of artillery on the battlefield. The English had held vast territories in France for decades, primarily in Normandy and Aquitaine. But by 1450, English rule in Normandy had crumbled, and the French turned their focus to reclaiming the southern territories in Aquitaine. The English had recently retaken Bordeaux in 1452, and King Charles VII aimed to put an end to this English resurgence. In the summer of 1453, Charles VII launched a major campaign to retake the strategic town of Castillon, which would open the way to capturing Bordeaux. The French forces were commanded by Jean Bureau, the king's master gunner, who was known for his innovative use of artillery. The French army assembled a fortified camp near Castillon, heavily guarded by artillery pieces. In July 1453, the English forces under John Talbot, Earl of Shrewsbury, a renowned and experienced general, marched to relieve Castillon. Talbot was one of England's last great commanders in France and had been successful in reclaiming several territories earlier. However, intelligence about the size and strength of the French force was either insufficient or misleading, leading Talbot to underestimate the enemy's position. On July 17, 1453, Talbot launched a bold attack against the fortified French camp. He believed the French forces were retreating after a skirmish earlier in the day and rushed forward to engage them without waiting for his artillery or reinforcements. The French, however, were not retreating but waiting in their fortified positions. When the English attacked, they were met by a devastating bombardment from over 300 French cannons. The French artillery was a game-changer. It wreaked havoc on the advancing English troops, who had little protection against the barrage. Talbot, realizing his mistake too late, tried to rally his forces. However, the unrelenting fire and the confusion among the English ranks proved overwhelming. Talbot's forces suffered heavy casualties, and in the midst of the fighting, Talbot himself was unhorsed. At the age of nearly seventy, he was severely wounded and unable to defend himself. He was eventually killed in the battle. With his death, the English army's morale collapsed and what remained of their forces was either captured or fled the battlefield. The Battle of Castillon marked the end of English territorial ambitions in France. Bordeaux surrendered to French forces in October 1453, and with it, the last major English-held territory in France was lost. Although the Treaty of Picigny in 1475 officially ended the Hundred Years' War, Castillon is often cited as the definitive conclusion of the conflict due to the complete collapse of English control in France following the battle. The outcome of the battle also highlighted the transformative role of artillery in warfare. Jean Bureau's strategic use of cannons at Castillon demonstrated how gunpowder weaponry could decisively shape battles. The French consolidation of their kingdom was a significant step in the formation of a centralized French state, while England turned inward to face political turmoil, leading eventually to the Wars of the Roses. The Battle of Castillon stands as a critical turning point in European history, signaling the conclusion of an era of warfare and the rise of new military tactics that would shape the conflicts of the future.